Good morning, it's me again. Welcome to Friday. <gasps> Friday already, where has it gone? Uh, and today we get the important announcement of the winners of our competition. And we have two winners this week as well. Two winners of our colouring in competition, which you've still got time to enter for the rest of the summer holidays as well. And you know what? We're asking you, yes, to colour in your play days at home logos and signs if you can get them. I know some people are having trouble getting hold of them or getting them printed. Well, that's fine. Do you know what? Draw us a picture. Draw us something, an activity, something you've done in one of our creative sessions. Maybe just a picture that you want to send. Maybe a picture of me on the... Watch this, ready? Right, now screenshot that, uh, take a photo of it, and then trace it maybe, or draw it, and colour it in, and send me that. Yeah, anything you want at all, guys. If you want to upload it to the website, the Mr Sussex District Council website, please do. Send it in, and we'll include you in our competition. <gasps> The competition, the competition. Should we do it now? Should we do it now? Are you ready? Do you want to hear who's won the competition this week? Hmm? I don't know, do you? I can't even hear you. Do you want to hear or not? You don't sound very enthusiastic. Is it the heat? It is a hot day today, yes. I don't know where you are, but where I am, it's very warm today. Um, do you want to hear it? Okay, all right, we'll do the competition. Uh, we do have two winners. As I said, we had some technical difficulties last week of getting the uh, the pictures to me to judge. This week, it's been better. Um, so we've had a look through, and we are very pleased to say we have chosen our two winners, me and the Federal family. So please, big drum roll. Come on, hang your legs. The winners this week, winner number one. Oopsie daisy, let's put that down there. Winner number one would be... This picture from Katie Robinson, who's from Haywood's Heath. So well done, Katie Robinson. Some great detail there uh, and some fantastic colouring in. Really, really nicely. I'm loving the detail on the keyboard. Lots of different colours uh, and all those important rainbow colours as well to stay positive and keeping everyone happy throughout all of this. Uh, so well done, Katie Robinson. She is from Haywood's Heath. And also we've got another drum roll, please. Our second winner. There it is, that is Isaac Bishop, who's uh, seven years old from Burgess Hill. Yay, so well done Isaac, thank you so much. Uh, loads of detail there, lots of lovely colour. Look at it, it's amazing. Uh, so really, really good, well done guys, well done. Uh, that's two competition winners that have won 10 pounds each. That's right, and do you know what? And the, the guys at the council who are giving out the voucher have just decided not necessarily Amazon, uh, they're gonna contact you and find out where you'd like to spend it, and local as well. So get some gift vouchers from your local shops uh, and encouraging shopping locally, because that's all grand, isn't it? Yeah, we've got to do lots of shopping locally. The more shopping locally we do, support the local traders and all the ones that have been struggling throughout this pandemic as well. That word, pandemic, who would have thought we'd use it quite so much? And certainly with young people, you're gonna know what it means though, aren't you? Pandemic. And throughout all of this, all the local shops have been kept going, have supported people, it's been brilliant. Like, oh, there's like the local butchers, the local bakers, the local candlestick makers. Uh, there's not so many candlestick makers, is there, I suppose, locally anymore, but it was a good rhyme. But yeah, using your local shop's been fantastic. And I've had first-hand experience of this, of people using their local bike shop. Uh, anyone over in the Partridge Green area, obviously over in the uh, Horsham District area, um, uh, but uh, that do free collection delivery all over the county anyway. Uh, so there's going local rather than your big nasty chains. Uh, the bike side, .co .uk, I've heard that's one of them uh, that does a lot of local stuff for bike repairs and fixing, so uh, look them up. Mm, it's, uh, it's quite an interesting one. Yes, uh, anyway, shameless plug of uh, Tom Foodery's other business. It's Friday, guys. We've done our competition, and it's time, of course, for our usual Waste Busters Challenge. Are you ready for this? Because, right, here we go. This is the uh, this is the brief this week. Hello, Waste Buster cadets. This is your chance to be a Waste Buster star. All you need to do is watch this recycling video with Mia and play the quiz to find out how you can recycle it right, and you will earn your Waste Busters star badge. How are you doing on the badges, guys? Have you, are you building them up? It's all there online. Don't forget to sh log in. You should already have your special Waste Busters username and you need to make sure you're signed into the Waste, West Sussex Waste Busters website to take part. Here's the link again. It's www.westsussex.wastebusters.org. All right. Just go to the sign-in page. Once you sign in, go to the top of the activity link uh, and click on the Waste Busters star. Right, there are two quizzes. One for the junior cadets, they are aged four to seven, and a slightly harder one for the, uh, for the older cadets, aged seven to 11, okay? So do it in the right age group. I, uh, I did the four to seven, and I got most of it right. 
You'll be fine. It's absolutely fine. You can get your grown-ups to help you as well. Uh, when you finish the quiz, it's competition time. So for the younger cadets, it's time to get arty and save the world from waste and create a special recycling star poster. That's what we'd love to see as well. Uh, senior cadets, it's time for lights, camera, action. That, I didn't squash a fly. No, it's okay. I'm not squashing flies. I was doing the, the clapperboard thing, you know, when the lights, camera. Why not create your own Waste Busters star video and your family and you can be the stars of the video. It's easy to film these things. I'm literally filming all of these things on an iPhone so uh, or, or any other sort of smart device you've got. You can film these things. Really, really cool. Uh, cameras are fantastic. You could be the next Stilvan... Steven Spielberg. <laughs> I knew I'd say that wrong. You probably don't even know who he is, but he makes lots of uh, very important movies. Uh, very big movies, big movie producer. E.T. Ask your grown-ups. Uh, so the challenge is to make your own video showing how you and your family can recycle it right. So make a little, some clips uh, of you making recycling and making stuff out. It'd be loads and loads of fun. And you can upload it to the uh, Wastebusters website as well. You can find details of what to do and your suggestions for your video and poster on the Wastebusters website. And then when you finish your creation, just upload your video or poster to the Wastebusters website uh, for your chance to win your very own personalised clapperboard. Yeah. And you win one of those personalised with your name on it. Mm. So there we go. That's what you can do. So watch out, because here it comes. This is the Waste Busters video. Are you watching? Stephen Spielberg's out there. <laughs> Steve, Stephen Spielberg. Cut. Play the video. <laughs> Ford Materials Recycling Facility, MRF as it is also known, is one of the most technologically advanced MRFs in the country. It is operated by Viridot on behalf of West Sussex County Council. local district and borough will have picked up your recycling bin. Each truck contains on average of six tonnes of recycling. The MERV processes on average 76,000 tonnes a year. The automated MERV sort and separate the recyclables so you put in your recycling bin at home into individual high quality valuable materials ready to be transported to reprocessors and manufacturers to be recycled into new goods. Thank you for following me and the journey of recycling in West Sussex. You can find out more by following us at West Sussex Recyclers. Next up, we got Sussex Green Living back with us once again, of course, and today is about recycle and recreate for the planet. So what are you going to need for that? You're going to need your recycle bin, of course. You're going to need some scissors, some glue, uh, masking tape, and colouring in pens. But most importantly, you're going to need your imagination. Mm, let it run wild with Sussex Green Living, and I'll be back shortly to say goodbye. See you soon. Hello Eco Warriors and Climate Champions. My name's Carrie Court from Sussex Green Living and I'm here today with my friend Pedro. Now, do you know what Pedro is? He's a red-eyed tree climbing frog and he comes all the way from South America, from the Amazon rainforest. Why is the Amazon such a special place? Look at how beautiful it is. Not only is the Amazon the single largest remaining tropical rainforest in the world, it houses at least 10% of the world's known biodiversity, including endangered flora and fauna, plants and animals, that can only be found in the Amazon. Explorers and scientists are making new discoveries all the time, often plants that are cures to diseases and new medicines. The Amazon River accounts for 15% of the world's total river that goes into our oceans. The Amazon rainforest is called the lungs of the earth because it has so many trees, big ancient trees and lots and lots of plants. These trees and plants take out of the air the carbon dioxide, one of the greenhouse gases we humans are creating too much of through all our human activity, lots of buying of goods and shipping all over the world. And these trees, 
the Amazon rainforest gives us the oxygen that we need to breathe. So we need to demand and buy less, look after our planet more. So that's why the Amazon rainforest is so important. Now let me tell you about Pedro. Now Pedro, he actually came all the way from South America to the UK um, in a bunch of bananas. You need to look on Sussex Green Living and he'll tell you his story. But he lives in my garden in West Sussex. And he came to West Sussex because he heard that West Sussex was going to be the greenest, the cleanest and the best place on the planet to live. Do you know why? Because there are so many climate champions, eco-warriors like you living in West Sussex. So today, Pedro and I are going to talk to you about recycling and recreating. Pedro's going to introduce you to one of his, his enemy and a couple of his friends. And these enemy, this enemy and these friends are actually going to show you what you can and can't recycle in your recycling bin at home. And then we're going to show you all sorts of wonderful things that have been made with what many people think are rubbish um, and waste and litter and uh, but, but we have made and other people have made into beautiful, beautiful things, works of art, handbags, jewellery, all sorts of incredible things. So just wait and see. So now, eco-warriors, recycling warriors, I want to look at what these materials are made of, think about where they came from, um, and why it's really important to most certainly recycle them, but actually, in an ideal world, don't even take them in the beginning. So let's have a look in our box. So, do you know what these are made of? They're made of aluminium. It's come from planet Earth. Like everything around us, everything has come out of our great planet. This is a very valuable waste resource. Last time I asked, it's worth about 780 pounds a tonne. So it can be recycled. It can be recycled many, many times. In fact, it can be recycled to make aircraft. So really important that if you actually take an aluminium can and have a drink in an aluminium can, that you actually put it in your recycling bin so it can get made into something new. Let's see, what else have I got in my box here? Have a good old rummage around. Um, oh, here we are. Now, this is made out of metal as well. Lots of people um, put them in their, their bin, their bathroom bin, Lots of people don't actually recycle what's in their bathroom bin, which is really bad. And the bedroom bins, whatever bins you have in the house, it's really important that you take them out to your uh, curbside recycling bin outside your house and you put them in the right bin. So again, this is made of metal and it's very, very valuable. And although it's got a little bit of plastic on the top, it should all go in your recycling bin. Uh, let me see, what else do I have here? What about these? Do you think we can recycle these or not? Yes, they're made of plastic. And what's plastic made of? Plastic's made of petroleum, which has taken millions of years, if not billions of years, to form in planet Earth. We suck it up, we use it to make plastic containers and bottles, to power our house, to power our cars, unless you have um, an electric car, or perhaps solar, some good clean energy. But petroleum is used for lots of things. Um, it's really, really important that you uh, recycle plastic bottles, plastic containers, any plastic containers in fact. Here we go. This you can recycle, it's also made of plastic. This you can recycle, it might be black, but it doesn't matter. It had some meals for an elderly person actually. 
So we've washed it so it's nice and clean. That can be recycled. Other forms of plastic, plastic milk cartons, um, yogurt pots, any hard plastic that's bigger than a coffee lid, bigger than about so big, can be put in your recycling bin and really must. I mean, if you can avoid taking it in the beginning, then that's even better. So, for example, I can't find it in my magic bin. Oh, here we go. For example, we used to actually get our milk um, from Sainsbury's or Tesco's, one of the big stores, in a plastic carton like this. But we decided to go back to the milkman. And by going back to the milkman, we actually prevent 80 uh, plastic milk cartons like this a year um, having to be taken and recycled by our council. They get recycled miles and miles away. Used to be in China, long, about 10,000 miles away, transported using horrible fossil fuel to be recycled into something new, but actually really bad for the planet, all that shipping around. So we use milk bottles and we buy them from the milkman. So these go back to the milkman, these glass bottles, they get re-sterilised, refilled and returned to householders. So that's a really good way to prevent uh, the need for all this recycling. Back on track. What else have I got in here? Oh, these are called Tetra Packs. So these actually are made of paper, plastic and a type of foil. Um, so it's quite a complicated material, but they can be recycled. So pop those in your recycling bin. What about this magazine? Make sure you read it first. Make sure you uh, ideally give it to a friend and maybe a friend reads it, a few friends, even better. And then eventually when it's a bit tatty, if you don't need it any longer, pop it in your recycling bin. Because what's paper made of? And what's cardboard made of? Where does it come from? It comes from trees. And however old or young you are, I know if I ask any of you, do we want trees standing or do we want them cut down? You'd say, yeah, we want them standing because they give us clean air and they take nasty gases out of the atmosphere. So try not to take these materials in the beginning if you can avoid it, but most certainly recycle them and then they'll get made into new cardboard and new paper. Sorry about my dogs, they like to join in. Uh, what else have I got? Oh, now I'm going to, oh, here's another. Oh, this one's been decorated, so excuse my, it's a steel tin. This steel tin, this definitely needs to be recycled. So this might be something you've got, uh, I don't know, baked beans in, or maybe some soup, maybe some fruit. Again, this is worth a lot of money. Last time I asked about £780 a tonne. So definitely we want to recycle our steel tins. It's really important with all your recycling that it's clean, dry and loose. That means clean, hasn't got jam and food all over it. You can just swill it out in your washing up water. Dry, we don't need to dry it. Uh, with a tea towel but you want to make sure that you haven't got a bottle full of water that goes in your recycling bin and gets all your paper all wet and loose means don't put it in a bin liner you're recycling because you can't recycle bin liners so foil needs to be clean dry and loose to so make sure you've got your if it's a jam tart tin um, or a pie tin yeah give it a quick swill out and then you can put it in your recycling bin um, I was talking about milk bottles earlier. Well, on milk bottles, you get little foil lids like this. They're really brilliant for eco art. But if you're not actually in the making mode, um, if you actually collect these and then screw them up into a tight ball so they all stick together and then pop them in your recycling bin, that helps to keep all those lovely foil lids together. Um, and then actually some... Um, food pouches like this have got aluminium, which is what foil is made of, um, and they have got aluminium in them. And the test really is, if you get a bag, say, like this, if you screw it up into a tight ball and it stays screwed up like that, 
it's got aluminium in it so you can recycle it if it you screw it up and then it immediately pings open again it's plastic so don't recycle it then the last few things i wanted to show you are bottles like these so these are called trigger heads the bottle you can recycle but the top you cannot um, but you can put it in a really really special recycling scheme which i'm going to tell you about at the end so um, again bottles like this you can recycle but not the lid in your bin not in your recycling bin at home they're made all these plastic lids are made of hundreds and hundreds of types of plastic um, and it's just too complicated they get stuck in the recycling machinery um, so don't put them in and then uh, the one thing I wanted to come back to is aerosol cans so made of steel it's got a plastic lid on it when it's empty definitely empty um, ideally if you can take the plastic lid off then put that in your recycling bin if you can't get the top off which sometimes it's really really difficult um, then still put it in your recycling bin because there's more of the steel um, that needs to be recycled than the plastic that they don't really want but the recycling companies can sort that out so have a look at Ronnie the Recycled Robot that will help to remind you what you can recycle in your bins at home I need a new Ronnie a robot actually if you fancy making me one now we're going to look at what you can't recycle in your recycling bin at home so it's materials like these really um, these are all made of different types of plastic so plastic bags um, carrier bags bin liners um, coffee packaging like these are all made of plastic so again you do the scrunch test and it will open back up again it's most definitely plastic so in an ideal world try and avoid plastics like these um, sometimes you get fruit and veg in plastic bags like this but actually choose it loose go to your local farm shop go to a pick your own grow your own even better no food miles um, so just try and avoid as much of the food that's in packaging as possible what else oh so we got oh who likes chicken nuggets i know you all love chicken nuggets so this was a bag it's only a little square of the bag now but you can't recycle this this has to go in your rubbish bin so hey ideally perhaps try get, going to the butcher buying the chicken without the packaging um and then making your own chicken nuggets mm, now there's an idea Oh, I bet you like these crisps. Everyone likes crisp packets. So uh, you cannot recycle these in your bin at home. But again, at the end, I'm going to tell you what you can do to help the planet by recycling, recycling these in a special place. But don't put them in your bin at home. Or have you got dogs? Cats? Treats? These are made of plastic, so again, you can't recycle them when you've been at home but i do have a solution so i'll tell you about that um oh here do you know what this is made of so it's polystyrene it's a really bad material so i don't know anywhere you can recycle polystyrene so you think about it sometimes you can buy pizzas sometimes they're on cardboard bases to stop them getting all floppy and to protect them sometimes they're on polystyrene bases now avoid the ones on polystyrene bases um, if you have buy them on the cardboard bases then if the cardboard's clean you can put it in your recycling bin if it's covered in pizza then you can't but best of all make your pizza bases it's great fun it's really really easy and it's really really fun choosing all the uh, all the food to go on it so then you're not you're not actually buying any packaging and you're not actually having to send packaging off to in your rubbish bin or uh in your recycling bin what else can i show you oh yeah poor polystyrene please 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 never go to a shop and buy yourself a drink in a polystyrene cup um take your a beaker for life your drinker for life 
I think I've got one in here somewhere. You know what they look like. Here we go, here's mine. Oh, this one, it expands out. Yep, and you can, oh, it's even, even taller than that. There we go. So uh, that folds down and will go in your bag. You can take it out and about, drink, uh, top it up while you're out and about. So be for life, please, please, please do not take polystyrene cups. If you have damaged goods and materials that can't go in your recycling bin at home, you might want to take them to your nearest household waste recycling site, which you can locate on this website. This map shows where they are in West Sussex. Most of the materials get recycled into new things. However, before taking anything here, try and find someone else who might want the item you don't need any longer talk to friends, neighbours and relatives, or share the information on Facebook or sites like Freegal, Freecycle or Trash Nothing. Or of course you could take it to a charity shop. You might find that you can swap it for something with someone else. Since the Covid pandemic, we've seen a lot of this. It's called the mutual aid movement. With a little effort, there's lots of other ways you can recycle materials which would otherwise go in your rubbish bin and to landfill or incinerator and get burnt. Look at this website, TerraCycle. You can put into the website your postcode and see what else you can recycle. There's things like crisp packets, biscuit wrappers, cheese wrappers, dog and food packaging wrappers and lots, lots more. We recycle many of these materials at drop-off locations in villages and towns in Horsham District. So do go and look on TerraCycle's website. Before I show you some really stunning things that have been made out of what many people call rubbish, I'd like to tell you about how you can find out about your household wheelie bins and which ones you should put the recycling in and which ones are for the rubbish, the non-recyclable materials. You'll need to visit this website www.recycleforwestsussex.org if you live in West Sussex and then click on the area Mid Sussex, Horsham District, Chichester for example um, and you can learn about the colour of your recycling bin and what you can and can't put in the bin. Recycling varies from area to area, county to county, country to country. So if you don't live in West Sussex, find your local council's website and learn more. This video has been produced for Mid Sussex District Council's virtual play days. If you live in Mid Sussex, this shows the colour of the bins for your area.
We hope that you've learnt about the importance of looking after our great planet. Although recycling is really important, it's much better to refuse the packaging. Don't buy goods with lots of packaging. Try and buy goods with none. Or if you have to buy packaging, make sure it's recyclable. You might have learnt about the three R's at school. Reduce, reuse and recycle. You can see here that lots and lots of other wonderful Greener Living R words. Try and learn about them and remember all these wonderful R words. A final request from Pedro and I. It's really important that one person in a household takes overall responsibility for monitoring the bins. So please go away and be the bin police person in your home. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody, on this Friday of the Mid Sussex Play Days at Home. I hope you had a lovely time. Thank you so much, everyone, for the Wastebusters, the cadets, and all of you guys for getting so involved. And of course, for Sussex Green Living for those fantastic activities. What a great week, another one. We've been all over the place. And next week is no less. We'll be doing interactive circus shows. We've got bubbles, we've got water play. We've got all sorts. We've got sporting challenges for you as well. It's gonna be absolutely rampacked. And I will be back, of course, on Monday morning to introduce it all. I hope you have a fantastic weekend, guys. Don't forget, if you've missed any of these videos, you can go back on the YouTube channel and watch them all over again. They're all there, archived, ready to watch. Keep your colouring in coming in, keep your competitions uh, going on, keep your Wastebusters badge work up as well. You can always go back and do those. You can sign into the Wastebusters website at any time, not just while this programme is on, uh, and work on your badges and re-watch those videos if you want to as well. So that is absolutely fine. Have a great weekend, guys. Stay safe uh, and, uh, and, and look after yourselves and be nice to each other. Yeah, that's Tom Thulery's word. Thulery? Tom Thulery? I didn't say Thulery's. Foolery. That's Tom Foolery's word for the day. Be nice to each other. It's more than one word, but there you go. <laughs> Bye.